be as happy as you wanna be. Listening to our rampage of appreciation of the life that you are living, your life that you are living. But you can't live your life without those like us benefiting from your exposure to your life. Because when you look around and you have experiences and you revel with delight in some of them and you shudder in discomfort at others, in every case, whether you are cringing or applauding, you are focusing energy that is creating worlds. And as you do that, we are all in on it. We get to participate with you. That thrill that you have is our thrill that you are interpreting. But when you feel bad, that's you interpreting the absence of us. Absence isn't the right word because we don't go away. It is your pinching yourself off from the vibration of your source. That is really what negative emotion is. So have you been listening to us for a while? You know about vibration pretty much. You understand that law of attraction is the engine that manages all of this and that it is tuned to vibrational frequencies. Do you understand that everything has a vibrational frequency? Do you understand that your manifestations that will soon manifest have vibrational frequencies and that if before it manifests, you achieve vibrational harmony with the frequency of it, then it comes to you faster. Do you understand that abundance has a vibrational frequency? And can you imagine what it feels like? What, what would the vibrational frequency of abundance feel like if you were going to put words to it? It would feel like ease. It would feel like freedom to choose, certainly. It would feel like eagerness. It would feel like clarity. It feels like the vibration of abundance feels like fresh air. It feels like clear path. It feels unlimited. It feels always flowing. It feels abundant, 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 meaning never ending, always flowing. It, it doesn't feel pinched off and it doesn't feel like jealousy and it doesn't feel like worry and it doesn't feel like fear. It feels like fun. It feels like sureness. It feels like certainty. So let's say that you're standing in a what isness of less abundance than you want. If you can take your attention away from your perceived manifestation of not enough and you can focus upon something else that feels like fun or something else that feels unlimited. In other words, you can use subjects other than the subject of money, which may feel like not enough every time you think about it. You can focus upon other things that feel like fun, that feel unlimited, that feel like clarity, that feel like fresh air. You can practice the seed vibration of abundance by staying off the subject. If the subject calls something different from you, you see what we're talking about a while back. We said, if you're working on abundance, if abundance is something that is important to you, then take money out of the equation because there is so much abundance that is abundantly around you that you can tune yourself to the frequency of that. What does what does what's another what's something else you want usually it falls into a handful of categories you want money you want a lover you want someplace really great to live you want a body that feels good so let's say that you your your intent is for a lover who isn't there a lover what does a lover feel like what does it feel like what does being in love what does a lover feel like what's it feel like feels happy feels high feels pretty damn good feels like well-being feels like homecoming feels like security feels like appreciation feels like being appreciated feels like feels effortless feels like ease feels natural feels like desire in other words if you can get to the general vibrational reason behind what you want, which is what, why do I want it? 
the question, why do I want this thing will bring to you, then you can, we know you can, you can begin practicing the vibration of the manifestation that is coming. Now, here's the thing that we know that often you don't know that we so want you to know. And that is that everything you've asked for is coming. And the only question is, how long are you going to keep yourself from it? That's the only question. We're just feeling you out a little bit because do you know how much money is in your vortex? Do you know what a vortex even is? Vortex is the vibrational holding place of all of the desires that you've launched. So do you sense, do you sense that we sense, do you understand that there is abundance, immeasurable abundance, not recognizable by most of you abundance, not yet experienced. Let's just put it that way by most of you abundance for you vibrationally queued up and that all you've got to do, all you've got to do, the only thing you've got to do is to practice the vibration of it. And it makes its way to you in so many different life giving fun ways, but you got to practice the vibration of it. And that's what trips humans up. We love you very much. Mm -hmm. What's coming next? But you don't, for the most part, practice the vibration of what's in your vortex. You practice the vibration of what's already manifested. And what's already manifest is a puny comparison to what's available to you. So we've made our point. You got to stop focusing so much on what is that it dominates your vibrational patterns. And you have to start focusing upon who you really are and how you want to feel. So when you think about the things you want, and there are a lot of them and it's wonderful. When you think about the things that you want and you think about why you want those things that you want and it brings you to that vibrational reason, most of which is easily recognizable by you and easy to find by you and easy to discover all around you already because the feeling of money is not only available to you in money itself. Because you just said it feels like fun. It feels like freedom. It feels like, and there is so much of your world that does not require money in order to feel those things you see. So if you look around as the selective sifter that we know a deliberate creator like you can be, and you tune your frequency to the feeling of, so it would be such a good thing if you could just make your list of things that you want. And take each item one by one and stop and analyze for yourself. What is the feeling of that? When I have that, when I live that, when I am that, when that is my experience, when that's who I am, when that's where I am, when that's who I'm with, when that's what I'm living, what does that feel like? What does it feel like? Not what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does the vibration of security feel like? What does the feeling of homecoming feel like? What does the feeling of empowerment feel like? What does it feel like? And as you pose those questions to yourself, as you move through your days and you're feeling a lot of those things all day, every day, as you come across, we started to say stumble across because you may not be doing it exactly on purpose, but as you come across that feeling and you come across that feeling after you have acknowledged that you want to find that feeling, it will stand out in a more vivid way. And you can say, yes, that's it. And then as you stay there and revel in the emotion of that for a moment, you practice the frequency of it longer. And that really is all that deliberate creation is. It's choosing the feelings, practicing the frequency until choosing those feelings comes easily. And you know why choosing those feelings come easily? Because law of attraction says, Ooh, you feel like that. Here's a little more. Law of attraction doesn't behave like you want your mother to. Oh, you feel bad here. This will make you feel better. Law of attraction says, Oh, that makes you feel bad. Here's some more. You say, well, then law of attraction may not be my friend. We say your best friend because law of attraction is bringing you how you're feeling, showing it to you so you can make choices. This sucks. This feels awful. How can I feel differently than this? And that's what we're going to be talking about here today. How can you gain control of the way you feel? in this situation and this one and this one and this one will give you a little hint. 
is about self-soothing. It's about being kinder to yourself because if you would see yourself like that two or three or four year old that you're wanting to control because clearly they're out of control. They're so happy all the time and irresponsible and they throw fits when they don't feel good. So if you could treat yourself like that one, treat yourself like that, what would you do? You see a little one trying to learn how to walk, not very good at it, unstable, over he goes. Get up, you little dummy. Don't you see the rest of us walking upright? You're not a dog, you're not a cat. Get up, get up, you little dummy. You don't do that, why not? Why not? Because first of all, you understand that you are where you are. And next of all, you understand that hmm, with focus, there is learning. And with trying, there is change in behavior. And so it might be helpful if you would think about those that you feel most like encouraging. Who are they? Who do you feel most like encouraging? Is it those new ones that haven't yet shown their failure or their stupidity? In other words, this person deserves my help because this person is new to all of this. Or do you, or do you want to uplift everyone? Are you a soother to most? If you saw someone in the street bleeding, we believe you would help them. But when you see someone negatively expressing, you sort of want to scold them into better behavior. And that's sort of what you do to yourself. You sometimes try to scold yourself into better vibration. And we thought it would be a really good thing to start this new year out when you're thinking more about who you are and where you are and where you're going and what you want. If you could just take this one piece from this gathering that you want to soothe yourself into alignment by pointing out to yourself how well you are doing, how much is going well. And it is our promise to you that you can get hold of little pieces of that all through the day. And law of attraction will say, oh, here's more. Here's a little more of that. When you soothe yourself and accomplish the soothing, law of attraction will say, here's more of that. The universe, the universe agrees with you there and there and there and there and there until it won't be long 30 days is certainly enough that you'll be walking around feeling like the most blessed being because everywhere you turn someone something some circumstance or event or some other person some coincidence some coming together some collective co-creation will occur and you will be the center of it the object of it the recipient of something that feels really good to you and in the beginning it might just be an uplifted heart. It might be a new idea that just feels really good. It might be a comment from someone unexpected. It might be a smile from a stranger across the way. It might be a telephone call. It might be a winning lottery number. It depends upon what you want and where you are. But it is our promise to you that if you will begin to tend to the frequency of that which is you, since you equal your point of attraction, and you will be aware, I felt this way and this came back. I felt this way and this came back. I felt this way and this came back. Before you know it, you will be one who, whether you deliberately and often feel on purpose, you will know for sure that how you feel is your indicator of what's coming next. When you feel good, you are close to your true essence, your spirit, the full beauty of who you are.